Two West Lafayette high schoolers have caught the eyes of some major players in the science world. The two seniors are semifinalists for the U.S. Physics Olympic team. Tiffany Dismore spoke to the two teens this afternoon as they get ready for even more testing. Tiff? Well, seniors Nathan Houts and Remus Ventilla say they didn't expect to be semifinalists for the U.S. Physics team, but they are pretty darn excited about it. Parallel. West Lafayette High School seniors Nathan Houts and Remus Ventilla didn't get their hopes up after taking a test for the U.S. physics team. Initially, like I said, I didn't think I'd make it, but I just wanted to see what I could do if I tried, and it's pretty great. So. Both take a test Monday to see if they will be one of the 20 high schoolers from across the country to become an official member of the squad. Seems like it would be a lot harder. It's not just the basic concepts. You have to know the topics in depth. And you have to explain your, all your answers and have equations and everything, so it will be a lot harder. Both say they are excited to see what will happen, but first have to get over their nerves. I'm not too hopeful. We've only had one student ever from Indiana, and she's really smart. Haltz is talking about classmate Mahika Prabhu. Last year as a junior, she was one of those few students to make the Olympic team. Physics teacher Rob Spencer has his advanced placement physics class take the qualifying test each January as a review of what they learned the first semester. Just about every year, at least one student has qualified as a semifinalist. These students are, are very bright and um, motivated, and um, when you give them an opportunity to challenge themselves and see how, you know, how they stack up against people around the country, uh, they enjoy that. Houts and Ventilla will be two of the 300 semifinalists from across the country who will take the test Monday. This year's Olympiad will be in Bangkok, Thailand in July. Both Houts and Ventilla plan on studying physics to some degree in college and neither has decided what university they'll go to next year. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.